Hey everybody, Sean here, and today we're looking at Ben Lim, so let's jump right in. If you aren't familiar with Ben Lim, this is him, and as you can see, he's teamed up with many people in the New Apostolic Reformation, like Winnie Banoff, Georgian Banoff, James Gall, Kat Kerr, Katie Souza, and Benny Hinn. And his conferences focus on all the usual NAR buzzwords like Revival Awakening, Praying in Tongues, Prophetic Glory, and the Breaker Prophetic Reset. And like many in the NAR movement, he's into grave soaking and believes that you can transfer the mantle or anointing of former believers onto yourself. I suspected that there was something off about Ben when I saw the crowd he was with, but didn't know about this until I saw John Elving's video. So in the Bible, a mantle was like a cloak or robe that prophets would wear as a sign of their calling from God. Like when Elisha took Elijah's cloak as a symbol of his ministry being passed on to him. And you can see that depending on the version, some say cloak or others say mantle. But what these people are doing by laying on graves is not biblical whatsoever. So let's take a look at this. I'm that as we enter into your gates, into your courts, that there will be such a release, a transference of blessings of these mantles. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for this Black Friday, for this time right after Thanksgiving, as we enter into uh, 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 the Christmas, the December uh, month, the season, the month of giving. I thank you that we're going to be receiving and be giving so much. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that um, as I'm here with Pastor Linda Triska and this beautiful family here this morning at Forest Lawn in Glendale, um, there's going to be an impartation and receiving of the mantles of Catherine Coleman and Amy Simple McPherson. So I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your goodness, your kindness. You are a very great reward. Holy Spirit, we love you, Jesus. Notice the pastor lady in the background is already twitching. I'd like to see a Bible verse that tells us that we can do this and that there will be an impartation. And Catherine Cullman and Amy Simple McPherson are very questionable people. You can go to the site Ted Thought and hear firsthand stories of him being at Catherine Cullman meetings and these so-called healings didn't happen the way many believe, if at all. Long for Truth actually just did a segment on Catherine Cullman that's outright creepy. But let's continue. Pastor Linda, is there anything you would like to say to our audience, just even as we're about to enter in to the gates? And here we are, we're at Forest Lawn. And, um, you know, one thing I do want to say family, is, um, you know, this is not this is not grave robbing. It's not grave digging. It's not tomb robbing. It, it's, it's nothing new age. It's not necromancy. It's not um, worshiping the dead. But there is such a thing as a great cloud of witnesses where they are with us right now the great you know at hebrews 11 um the great cloud of witnesses is with us right now and they're all around us you know um and they're cheering us on the cloud of witnesses does represent the great men of god that have gone on before us but from my understanding they are not literal spectators of our race it's a figurative representation that says that we should act as if they were in sight and actually cheering us on to the same victory they obtained through their life of faith. All who are dead are in their graves still waiting the resurrection when we will meet Christ in the air. As we honor the Holy Ghost, we receive that we can receive impartations. We can receive blessings and things in the spirit. Where does he get this from? Because nowhere in the Bible does it say by going to the graves of dead saints, there will be impartations and blessings we can get. And then we're going to be... You know, honoring Catherine Coleman and going to her grave. And uh, the first time I ever brought anybody here was Tony Kim. I don't know if you know him. Uh, he's one of the main sons of HIM, H Rock. And he has a church called Renaissance Church in Bakersfield. Um, but he literally dropped to the floor. It was, uh, I believe it was on Father's Day. And he said, You have the key to Catherine Coleman's grave. I said, Yes, I do. And he said, How? It's a miracle. He said, Cancel everything. Let's go there. Because not many people have it. This is twisted. Who gets so excited about going to the grave of a dead so-called saint? This is almost idolatry. And the report was that so many people were going to Catherine Coleman's grave because they, they wanted an impartation, an inheritance, a blessing, that they had to move her grave to this specific place. 
These people are really confused. There is no impartation or inheritance of blessing to be gotten from being at someone's grave. This is so twisted. So Papa Buffaler, after many hours of searching, he comes here, he gets led here. And when he comes here, check this miracle out. Um, a man comes out, a golden van stops and looks like a worker. And a man comes out of this golden van and says, I have the golden key. And this man tells my spiritual father, Bill Fowler, he said, I have the golden key. And he said, the worker said, the Lord told me at this time today that you will be here and that you are meant to be one of the people that I pass this golden key to. Yeah, sure. God told him to give him a key to a person's grave so other believers could get impartations from a dead body. Right. And the Lord is releasing doors, opening doors that no man can shut, no man can close, no man can open. And this is what the Lord is doing. So Pastor Linda, I want you to give me your hands. Hey, whoa, whoa, and yes, whoa. <laughs> Holy. Always with the Kundalini style shaking, not self-control like the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm gonna pour some oil over this, and I want you to open it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy, 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 Holy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy, Holy, Holy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Fresh mantle. Thank you, Lord. Holy, Holy, Holy. Praise Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And even you who are watching right there in Jesus' name, Robo, be anointed. Receive this mantle by grace through faith. And if you would ever like to come here personally, you can contact me and we can set up some meetings. But This is like a ritual. Who anoints people with oil before visiting a grave site? And no thanks, Ben. I'll pass on your invitation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Catherine Coleman, one of the greatest sayings, I believe in miracles. Because I believe in God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Just like that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Catherine Coleman, she was a woman, but she was known as the greatest healing evangelist of the whole wave of healing in the 1970s. All these tent revival meetings of healing and power and encounter, it was just being released all across America. All of the TV stations, channels were filled with the, these revivals. But here we are, Catherine Coleman. This woman of God, this birthing mother, where Benny Hinn, as a young man, as he was impacted, as even Pastor Linda Trisco was, but as Benny Hinn was impacted as a young man by Catherine Coleman's ministry, the virtue of healing would manifest. But as Benny Hinn was impacted, he would go and cry out on her tombstone, on her grave, and cry out for the mantle of Catherine Coleman. And we believe Benny Hinn received the mantle of Catherine Coleman. Amen? Amen. Look at his ministry. Well, if Benny Hinn's ministry is a reflection of Catherine Coleman's ministry, then hers was rotten to the core. Yes, today is a double portion day. Yes, Even my is. friend, yes. the fellow prophet, <laughs> um, Tony Arnold in Victorville, she just said, the Lord is mantling Linda with a double portion because of her heart to be faithful to what God has spoken her Glory. to Glory. Thank you. Today is a day of expectation and expanding says the Lord. That's a thus saith the Lord moment. Scary stuff. <laughs> thank you for the realm of wealth. Thank you for the realm of houses. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the realm of houses, real estate. Increase, increase, increase in Jesus' name. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Thank you, Daddy. Hey, creative miracles of healings. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Creative realm of healings, God. Thank you for the angelic realm that's increasing over the sister's life, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you for this brother, God. Bless his knees, bless his ligaments, his tendons, his joints. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Fire! Robokoto! Thank you, Holy His whole back right now in Jesus' name. Yep, release a construction mantle in Jesus' name. Construction mantle? What the heck? This is not supported anywhere in the Bible. This goes on for 10 more minutes, but I think we've seen enough. We know that God opposes consulting the dead as we see in Leviticus 20. And Leviticus 19 also warns us of this. In fact, Leviticus 20, 27 says that people that practice these arts are to be put to death. But technically, they are not doing that. They're praying to God for the mantle of these people. 
So they could just stay home and pray to God from there. But they really believe that by being there, the anointing or mantle is stronger or more easily transferred, which is also false because none of this is in the Bible. So if they're not getting it from God's word, where are they getting these ideas? I think that 1 Timothy 4 says it clearest and that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, and having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Conscience means with knowledge, so their ability to think rationally about these things will be seared, it'll be dampened. Why does that happen? Because people don't read their Bibles and just follow these hyper-charismatic people and what they say. Whatever way you slice it, grave soaking is unbiblical, and anyone who does this should be avoided. So, we'll leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.